Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another episode of The Sims 3, uh, A Day in the Life of the Supernatural. And so in this episode, we are going to be going over um, Miss Madison Lockwood. Actually, it's not Lockwood. Her name is now Madison Van Gold or Van Gold. I say Van Gold because Van Gold just, well, Van Gold is, I'm pretty sure it's Van Gold, but I, I say Van Gold. I don't know. Um, but anyway um in the last episode we did ollie and then the one before that the first one we did Veneta. so go watch those as well as go watch supernatural and late night because this is kind of like a little prequel to um like a little mini series like prequel thing to supernatural season two because that's starting up very very soon probably like the day after uh the last episode goes out i will start up supernatural season two um so it'll be a lot of fun and i'm super, super excited but anyway um yeah so madison a lot has happened in her life um the last time that you all even saw or heard from madison was i believe in late night whenever we last like i guess um i guess like spoke to her or something Ooh, oh there's Elena. hi um but i, I believe vanetta while she was yeah, visiting vix and was having to do the whole ring situation back in late night um i'm pretty sure that we talked on the phone with um madison like twice during that time and then, or maybe once, I don't even know. Once or twice, I, I well, once I think. Um, but yeah, so that was fun and fresh. Um, but since then, well actually, before that, whenever you heard that in late night, um, Madison was already married to Aiden Van Gold, and here he is actually, she's booing him, how cute. Um, what a cute little relationship they have going on. But go ahead and go on inside. She does live here in the Van Gold Manor, and actually, um, I'm, now I'm saying Van Gold, and it's Van, I don't know, I don't, I don't know what it is, but, um, Aiden is the vampire faction leader, um, when it comes to the, you know, the faction parties and everything like that, so that's when I first also give him a makeover, because he was not that cute, um, and he's still not amazing, but he's better than he was before, and that's just on period, so, uh, yeah, and then Madison has really taken a liking and has just stepped into her role as, um, just like mistress of the dark basically and she is flirty supernatural great kisser irresistible diva she likes black o positive and dark wave music she is a scorpio aiden um is a no sense of humor absent-minded never nude proper snob he likes red o positive and classical music he is a capricorn um tristan is flirty brooding virtuoso bookworm ambitious he likes black o positive classical music he's a gemini um uh emily van gold is a night owl party animal excitable artistic childish she likes hot pink o positive indy she's a scorpio and then rain is a flirty brooding hot-headed diva and mean-spirited she likes red o positive and pop music now um the last time you all saw rain was again in late night she was crazy um she had a lot of um uh, mental issues going on she had just a lot of things going on personally and what really sparked because that was all like toned down with medication and stuff like that but what made her go off her medication what made her kind of like be basically driven insane um was when she learned that monty arabane was her father who is also vix's dad who was my vampire in supernatural season one um uh, she learned that he was her father she learned that vix was her half brother and what made that hit the worst is that she remembered vix and his name from when they were in elementary school because another one of them had friends um reen was kind of like the weird girl and then vix was a hybrid so he didn't he didn't have any friends either and so um they were just kind of like two peas in a pod um they only had each other and they were gonna be friends and they promised to be friends but they um but once Fanetta found out about them kind of like starting to become friends and gaining this relationship um, Vanetta kind of, uh, made sure that Vix had no contact with her, told her she's bad news, her family's bad news, do not talk to her whatsoever, yeah. don't ask questions, just don't do it, period, end of story. Um, and Vix was, he was like, okay, fine, uh, whatever. And so, he dropped contact with her, he ignored her, um, he felt bad about it, but he had to do it, and then eventually, Matt or Reen just stopped talking to him and just stopped trying. And so she went through all of high school without having any friends as well, and eventually she actually became homeschooled, I'm pretty sure, during high school um because she just had no friends she was miserable and her life and she also was battling a bunch of mental issues and stuff like that so um it just wasn't really fitting uh for her and she's apparently going downstairs which is that's not your bed honey it's really not your your bed's upstairs your bed is upstairs your bed is over here this is your room you're fucking stupid 
Um, where are you at? Honey, that's not- Your bed is over here. Literally, are you dumb? Are you dumb? Honey, do you all want to, like, go downstairs and sleep by- Oh, they're watching the stars! <gasps> that's freaking adorable. I was wondering where they were going. I had no freaking idea. They're watching the stars. They're actually kind of cute together. I mean, well, she's kind of using him for money. Because she doesn't love him. But, I mean, what do you expect- what? <laughs> what do you expect from Madison, to be honest? But go ahead and go. Oh, yeah, that is your bed. I'm just kidding. I was like, what? But no, you're fine. Um, go ahead and go sleep there. You can go ahead and go sleep there. Are you good? Okay, you are good. Okay, good. Um, but yeah, so um, after the whole thing in late night, after Reen. Well, after. Vanetta left Moonlight Falls um, due to Madison asking her for help after Rain went off the deep end and left town um, and ran away. I'm going to go try and find Vix and all that fun jazz. And so um, Vanetta had to go find her. Uh, she made her way to Bridgeport. And so Vanetta went to Bridgeport, found her, enlisted Vix for help once the truth actually came out. And Vix learned that uh, his mom was hiding something and lying to him about why she was really there. Um, and then the whole thing happened, had a little machinima on it that, um, showed kind of like the whole thing, the whole process basically. And, um, Vanetta did a spell to make sure that, um, well, she used an elixir and then did a spell to kind of like wipe her memory. Um, the spell was to, to put her to sleep and wipe her memory. And then the, um, the elixir was to change her personality and dispel the like pretty much the demons that were plaguing her mind and making her mentally ill um with like schizophrenia bipolar um adhd just all this kind of stuff so um yeah they went ahead and uh did all that fun jazz and got rid of all that and so she's actually a lot better and like i said whenever um we were with Vanetta, uh max and her are kind of a thing they're not dating dating but they're practically like talking and they're almost dating because they go out and do stuff all the time um so yeah there's that but um that's pretty much reen and then nothing's really going on with tristan or emily they're just kind of idle to be honest they oh my god ew she has a thing for Waylon wolf that is disgusting oh he's rich though that would explain it that would explain it. Oh my god. Maybe. Ew. Ew. Uh, honey. No. No. Why is he sleeping? Oh my fuck. Get up now. You don't. No. Get up. You don't sleep there. Period. I clicked on the wrong freaking sim. Literally get up now. Go. Over here. You don't sleep there you dumb whore. Go downstairs now. Hurry up. Let's go. We ain't got all day. Period. We ain't got all day. I love this door. It's a. Uh, it's like a hidden bookshelf door. It is so cool. Look at that. Look at that. Look how it moves. It's a hidden door. Period. Look at that. Bitch, go the fuck down the stairs right now. 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 Go. You can go downstairs. I'm not fucking stupid. Come on now. Literally. Get down there. 3 a.m. lag. We love it. Um, Thank you very much. Go downstairs. Hurry up. Let's go. Vampiric slumber. Now. There we go. I love that vampires flow when they sleep. That's so cool. I love it. Um, But anyway. uh, So... What was I saying? Oh, yeah. That's kind of fucking gross. And then... He's not doing anything either. I don't... No, he... He has... Well, he's friends with David Musgrave. So, I mean, that's fun to know. Um, yeah, he doesn't... He doesn't really have any relationships with anyone, to be honest with you. Oh, wait, he... Oh, he hates Rain. And he does not like Pappy Wolf. Wait, hold up. I think she hates Rain, too. Does she? Yes! Her and Rain hate each other. Oh, my God. T. And then, does he hate Rain? I don't think so. Maybe he does. I don't know. Oh, yeah. They do not like each other. And he despises Pappy Wolf. See? The, the vampires and werewolves also don't get along. So, that's fun and fresh. Um, and then, she's, like, fine. Her and Rain do not have the clothes. I mean, she's literally... She's closer to um, Emily and Tristan than she is with Rain. And so, I mean, it's kind of sad. Because Madison has just grown a bond to them. Um, mainly because she needs to be close to the family and stay in good terms with them if anything does happen between, um, um, uh, Aiden. Because, I mean, if he were to pass away suddenly, and if the kids were to get some money, then that means that she needs to be in good connections with him and on good terms so that she can also maybe be in the will. Maybe they'll give her money. I don't really know. Maybe she'll just be in the will anyway. I don't really know. But she, 
she's not fucking stupid. Madison's not stupid. Um, yeah, her relationships are pretty. She, uh, her and Helena don't like each other. They don't. They've never liked each other. Um, even though Vanetta and Madison have like made up uh, for what happened in the past, uh, Helena and her just have never been able to see eye to eye. After Helena caught, see, before anyone knew that Monty and or that. Yeah, that Monty was cheating on Vanetta with Madison. Like, this hoe, Helena knew. Helena knew before anybody else. And that's freaking crazy. Because she spotted them, I'm pretty sure. She spotted them at, like, a bar. And then she saw them outside. She saw them like, together, uh, I'm pretty, like, multiple times. And I don't know if she saw them woohooing or not. But it's... And then she saw the big fight whenever Monty and um, Vanetta broke up and stuff. So, it's just... They just don't see eye to eye. Helena has never been able to get that picture out of her mind. Um, she's never been able to forgive her, even though Vanetta has. But that's Helena. Helena holds a grudge. Like, she she looks sweet and innocent and, you know, whatever. She's a little cute little fairy. She holds a grudge, bitch. Do not get on, on her bad side. She will F you up. That's on period. Um, but they don't really have skills. I mean, Aiden, no, he, he has no skills, really. What the fuck? Are you just serious? Wait, his, he's really bad with his co-workers. He, okay, fun. Um, but... I mean, they have skills, don't they? Yeah, they have skills. Wow, they got a lot of skills. Christ. And then she has some skills. Not that many, but anyway. Um, she wants to flirt with someone, but not... Not... Oh, it went away. I mean, she wanted to flirt with someone, but not necessarily with uh, Aiden. So that's kind of funny. But uh, let's go ahead and go on upstairs. Oh, they're fighting. They're fighting. That's really cute. Oh, my God. She's like, um, excuse me, as if you- Oh, she's- she's laughing. She's like, oh, that's cute. You really think that's gonna scare me? She's like, oh, good job. You suck, literally. Oh my- oh my god, she's slapping him. Okay. Uh -huh. Fun. How freaking cute is that? She said, no, bitch. She said, no, bitch. Don't even test me. Madison, I like Madison now. Like, I didn't really before, whenever she was in late night and stuff like that, but- which, I mean, she couldn't necessarily help that, help that, but I don't know. But I don't know. Um, anyway, let's just, I don't know. She's freaking, oh my god. I love her. Because she's not even bad anymore. Like, after she's been Vix, but here's the thing, though. No one knows what happened except for Vix, Madison, and, um, uh, Vanetta. They're the only ones that know what happened with Reen. Rain has no recollection of what happened, and actually, Vanetta supplies Madison with this little elixir that she has to use oh. to pretty much, she like, um, goes, there's like a little diffuser oh, in Rain's room, and, um, there's supposed to be like good smelly stuff in there, but, um, she puts in, um, a drop of this elixir so that, uh, Rain will inhale it, uh, every night and just pretty, pretty much every day, and then, um, uh, it just, like, reinforces the spell that's keeping those memories blocked from her, like, reliving them or, like, knowing that they exist and stuff like that. Um, so, um, there is a chance they could still fail. Um, Vanetta was worried about that because she's never done a spell like that on a vampire because vampires already, their mind is already so much more complex than a normal human's or even a witch's or a vampire or, um, not a vampire, or, uh, fairies or werewolves because they have these mind-controlling powers and so their minds are a little bit more complex than any other supernatural beings or a humans. And so Vanetta didn't know how the spell was going to react or if it was going to hold. And so that's the reason why she supplies Madison with that elixir, just so that the spell can stay strong and everything. Um, but yeah, we need to go ahead and grab some 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 good good actually really quick. Can we go ahead and grab some of that really fast? A quick meal of some plasma juice. Um, oh my god, he's literally dying. Oh my god, stop. Oh my god! Oh my god. Aiden is dying. He is dying. Um, I did not mean for this to happen. Um, apparently he just was, he's fucking stupid. Um, so that's fantastic. Aiden is dead. He literally turned into a pile of ash. Okay, that's fucking fantastic. Um, uh, Madison, get that will ready. It, uh, hopefully it was done. Because, bitch, you gonna inherit some money. And that's on Piri. That, that's on Piri? That's on Piri. That's on Piri. Um, yeah. Fake cry. Fake cry. Fake cry. Fake cry. Now. Do it. You gotta, you, you gotta make it look real. You gotta make it look- Are they on their way down here? They don't even care that their dad's dying. Are y'all good? 
Like, do y'all really not care? They straight up don't care. Oh, she's coming down. She's now like, okay, I'm, in I'm interested. Um, we don't get money though. <laughs> she will. We don't <gasps> oh my god, here he is. Oh my god, I've never seen a vampire ghost. Oh my god, I've never seen a vampire ghost. Oh my god, I've never. Oh my god! Wait, I didn't. Oh my god. If. If Aiden dies, then Irene becomes the faction leader. Because even though, like, you like you can hold elections for, like, the factions and stuff like that if you want to. And if you, like, and, like, you can be challenged and, like, replaced and then you can, like, be voted and stuff like that and so like, elections. But also, like, they've said it by default. If, like, um, a faction leader dies, then their spouse will carry on um, for that faction. And so uh that's uh, unless someone challenges them or unless they don't want to take it and so um the people can vote in a new uh faction leader but otherwise this boss takes over so that means madison takes over as faction leader yo how is this happening before the lp even starts like what like what is hap what like what like what that's crazy that is so i didn't even expect i obviously not planned but like he's like okay take me i'm ready bitch bye oh my god t yo that means she gets it she literally has it like can we put that in your inventory please like are we done with this there we go put that because i kind of want to take his grave to the whatever it's called i mean whoa did not mean to do that did not mean to do that yeah i know whenever i click nine it takes me to this house and it makes me want to cry because that's the place that the house was in season one our starter home and everything <gasps> ah good times well the entire the house we've had the entire time except for vanetta's house but she doesn't live there anymore and yeah she no she moved i hate the house but go ahead and go grab some freaking plasma juice y'all need to go eat now like y'all need to seriously go eat because your daddy just died from not drinking because he's fucking stupid and so that means y'all need to get the fuck up here and go drink and then we'll go to the graveyard and in this episode once we get his grave settled bitch you're fine stop being stupid don't be stupid are you gonna go get some food oh she's already got it she's she already got it out and everything um she's gonna go get some bitch we're not about to have this we're not about to have this we're not about to have this are you a virtuoso you are. You want to join music? We can join music. I don't really give a fuck. Um, I'm fine with it. But go ahead and go over here and go grab some plasma juice. Please, please, please. Thank you very much, much. Thank you very much, much. Thank you very much, much. Little cuties. Are you getting up here? Or no? Oh my god. I thought you were on your way up here. You're fucking stupid. Anyway, go ahead and go grab some. And then we will go on over to the freaking whatever it's called. Because, hi. Um, we have to go to the graveyard and plant plant yes we're gonna plant a grave we're going to have to put his grave down um which monty's grave is actually over there i'm pretty sure too so is it over there i think it's over there i don't know if it is or not actually i think it is but i don't know if it's out i mean i i, I know it's in the mausoleum but i don't know if it's out yet because um yeah monty's dead if you didn't know uh, um, I'll get to that later, um, because Monty is dead, he's deceased, he's, uh, passed, which is fun and fresh, but, um, yeah, so, that's kind of sad, oh my god, wait, what does this say, heartbroken from witnessing death, yeah, you're a widow, I'm sorry, I'm really sorry about your loss, like, seriously, no joke, no joke, no cap, um, let's go ahead and go to the graveyard, it's, like, right over here anyway, so let's just go on over here, visit the grounds with Emily, Emily, Marine, and Tristan, because, that is so sad, yo. That is so sad. Oh my god. Oh my, I was not. Oh my god. That's crazy. I am absolutely shocked and appalled, but not really because Madison got her whatever it's called. You're gonna die if you stay out here any longer, honey. Like, seriously. You're gonna burn. You're starting to burn. You're starting to burn. Yeah, you're starting to burn. Um, we should have went at night because y'all dying. Y'all straight dying. Um, anyway, let's go, y'all. We ain't got all day. We ain't got all day. Are you coming too? You are good. Hurry up and get your ass on over here, honey. We have to go to the graveyard and bury your father, okay? Let's go. Okay, get your umbrella. Get it. Let's go. We ain't got all freaking day. Come on. That's right. Let's go. Get in this car. Even, I don't know where you're sitting, but whatever. Get in the car. Let's go. Blonde Speedster. YL. Okay, fun. Um... Let's go, 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 let's go
Let's storm petty putty putty. Let's storm petty putty putty. Let's storm petty putty 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 Anyway, um, yeah, no, his urn's not out at all. But anyway, let's go ahead and go, um, just go plant. I feel like we would plant it, like, I don't even know where. Like, I kind of want to plant it where this dude's is, because I don't know who the fuck this is. But I kind of feel like his urn would be planted right there. Maybe, like, right in front of it or something. We plant it right in front of it. <gasps> we can! We can make it look like it's a part of that urn. Oh my god, T! Let's do that. Let's do that. Make it look like it's a part of that. Engrave. Here lies Aiden Van Gold. Always loved. Um... The Vampire King, um, gone, but never forgotten, period. Actually, let's go ahead and do, um, that right there. The Vampire King, uh, gone, but never forgotten, period. Oh my god, that's kind of sad. Go ahead and go mourn, uh, go ahead and go mourn, go ahead and go mourn. And go ahead and go well she wouldn't really mourn actually she wouldn't really give a fuck to be real with you so she's just gonna go stand over there um, and then probably go home because she doesn't really give a fuck to be honest but go on over there y'all i know i know i know you're not sad at all so shut up you didn't even like him i don't think did you well i can't check now because you're dead so well he's dead but i can't believe that, that just happened like what Ex like i love supernatural so much i love it i love this family like i just all the connections that was she's just holding her umbrella like hmm. oh well that's what he gets i love oh my god the whole and he's looking at her like really why are you even here if you didn't even like him like this family i swear to god it's crazy <gasps> anyway um i will go ahead and end this video here because it's been long enough and i'm pretty sure that i've updated you all on everything that's been going on with reen and madison so thank you all so much for watching if you all enjoyed make sure to leave me a comment down below a like the video and subscribe and i'll see you on the very next video so good bye everyone